Item number SCP-5832. Index stained. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. A Foundation Front Company has purchased the building containing SCP-5832 and falsely classified it as condemned to discourage trespassing. A single guard is to be stationed on location to ensure security. The entrance to SCP-5832 is to be monitored via remote surveillance. Description SCP-5832 is an apartment consisting of a hallway with two opposing rooms at its end. Those who enter the area are entirely unable to vocalize. Other deliberately generated forms of noise like clapping or playing an instrument are possible. And other sounds are not affected. Evidence suggests that the anomaly was at one time inhabited, though the apartment seems not to have been entered for at least two years. A small metal placard under the apartment number reads, Department of Abnormalities. The leftmost room appears to be a child's bedroom, painted pink. The paint has no anomalous properties, but contains dangerous amounts of lead and has peeled heavily. The contents of the leftmost room are listed below. A Crayola 16-pack of crayons and a Disney Princess coloring book. It is completed normally, save that all images of Prince Adam from Beauty and the Beast have been colored over and scratched out using the red crayon. The red crayon has not been used anywhere else in the book. A Whipkins plush black Labrador Retriever. In several places, fur was crusted over with an unknown substance. A Nintendo DS and a cartridge for Animal Crossing Wild World. The game was functional in all aspects, save that when an NPC was engaged in conversation, no dialogue would appear in the resulting bubble. The player character's personal commentary on achievements or actions was also missing. Other text was not affected. Based on the presence of certain time-locked features in the game, it had been played continuously for at least nine months. A white wooden dresser. Contents of the dresser include a charm bracelet with one attached charm, a birthday cake with seven candles. Also found inside were several opened and partly emptied packages of Pollock's disposable training pants, and three identical Disney Princess t-shirts in a child's medium size. All three shirts are heavily stained. The rightmost room is a small bathroom with linoleum flooring. It contains a pink toothbrush and a tube of Crest Children's toothpaste, as well as a plastic booster stool under the toilet seat. No toilet paper or other hygiene products were present. There is a large crack in the bathtub's sealant. The sink and bathtub faucet were functional and were not anomalous. The toilet functioned properly, though multiple water samples taken both before and after repeated flushing revealed trace amounts of proteins found in amniotic fluid. A plastic cup sits on the bathroom counter. The contents had congealed, but chemical analysis revealed it to be a mixture of apple juice and mifepristone.